Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to be sharing some products with you guys that I've never actually used on here before. The brand is none other than Ali K Naturals. I ordered them on Black Friday. This is not a sponsored video. I did get quite a few products, so I won't be able to use all of them in this one video, so it will probably be a two-part video. So I will be starting off with their moisturizing black soap. So I have been wearing my hair stretched pretty much since I got my rib ear. I haven't even seen my hair like curly. I've just really been enjoying my hair stretched because it's so much easier to manage and not much detangling or knots and stuff like that. I'm gonna start off with a moisturizing black soap shampoo. And I think I will use the honey and sage deep conditioner today. So this shampoo feels pretty gentle, but I didn't feel as if it was removing the buildup that I had. So I had to use some main choice um, for the culture shampoo to kind of clarify my hair. And then I went in with this Alakay Naturals Black Soap Shampoo. After I clarified with the main choice shampoo, then this started to feel really good on my hair. So I could see that I had a lot of buildup. So I will be trying it again when there isn't as much buildup on my hair. Next, I'm moving on to the Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner. It is very creamy and very moisturizing. It literally feels as if my strands were soaking it up and it really helped with detangling. So I put a plastic cap on and I kept it in for about 15 minutes and let me tell you, my hair was so ridiculously soft. So I really like this deep conditioner. You see no traces of it on my hair because my hair thoroughly soaked it up. So I highly recommend this deep conditioner and I'll definitely be using it again. Next up is the Nuts Be Gone Hair Detangler. So if you like a very lightweight leave-in, then you'll love this one. It has a very nice coconut scent and it isn't overpowering at all. To style, I use the Moisture Rich Hair Parfait. And this kind of reminded me of a pomade. It is very thick in consistency and it is oil based. So once you rub it between your fingers, it kind of melts down into an oil. But it is great for styling because it just helps to seal that moisture in and will help to define your curls if you use it on top of a good leave-in, such as the Nuts Be Gone leave-in. So I didn't have any issues with it. I really loved using it and made my hair feel very, very soft. Next up is the Botanicals Hair and Scalp Balm. Now this really feels like old school grease and it even has those little herbs in it. So I just use this primarily on my scalp just to give it a nice massage. And I also put a little bit of it just on the ends of my hair just to help to seal that moisture in. Especially now that it's winter, I really tend to reach more for pomades and thicker creams and butters as these help to seal that moisture in and also create a barrier between my hair and the environment because it's very cold outside. So to style my hair, I'm going to be doing a chunky twist up with the Hair Parfait and I'll keep on applying the hair and scalp balm to my scalp. And I like doing chunky twist outs because I love the volume that I get from it. I love definition of course, but I really like when I have big hair and when I do my hair in larger parts, then I get more volume. So I've been getting a few comments asking about the brush that I use. This is my Curl Keeper brush. It's available at curlkeeper.com and I do have an older video comparing it to the Denman brush so you can check that out on my channel. 
So I kept these twists in for about three or four days before I did the takedown. And as you can see, my hair still looks very shiny. The twists have shrunken considerably, but that is expected. Um, I don't mind that at all. That just means that your hair is healthy. So never ever stress the shrinkage. If you want your twist to look more elongated, then you can try the banding method, which is basically just tying lots of um, hair ties on your hair just to stretch it out a bit. I will be doing a part two video in the next few weeks, like I said before. However, I really like these products thus far and the Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner is definitely a favorite of mine. It's very moisturizing, so I highly recommend that. Overall, I really like how my hair turned out. My hair looks really good and as you can see, it has a lot of sheen and it was so soft. So this twist out lasted me for over a week. So if you are in Canada and you want to try Alakia Naturals products, you can order them from their website. And if you'd like to try getting them at a cheaper shipping rate, then you can visit ReallyShop.com. So if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and drop a comment below. If you are not following me on Instagram, definitely do so at NK Naturals. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!